Okay, I got a bit bored yesterday when I was supervising some guys at work, um, and I've come up with um, what I think might be a feasible uh, game to write for the Aquarius. Um, it's basically a, a game where bricks fall down into a pit and they'll stack up, um, but you have the opportunity as the bricks fall to zap them, um, but you've got to be um, careful about which ones you zap and which ones you don't, because if you if you zap it too much you'll overheat your zapper, uh, your disintegrator beam, and, um, and, and it'll time out and then the bricks will build up and it'll get to this danger critical level and you'll die. Uh, and I also thought about adding a, a thing in where um, the um, bricks self decay after a certain amount of time so that um, the bricks will begin to um, descend on their own as well. So you, you're balancing the shape of the bricks coming down against the ever changing um, level of bricks in the pit. Um, and this is uh, where I got up to actually writing it. Um, when I came home yesterday. I basically um, did the screen layout um, which is this okay um, so this is going to be the disintegrator beam between these two arrows here this will be the max limit that the bricks can build up to before something bad happens you die basically um, I've got the graphic set up for the laser temp and then I've got the game parameters here and variables um, game play variables so you've got the tip rate 20% so that's so that'll start low and then it'll get more and more intense the the rate of the blocks coming into the system uh, the decay rate that's how often the bricks will disappear that starts off quite high and that'll get quite low and then finally there's the total number of toxic bricks that you have to um, dispose of. Um, so I've said 200 but that would increase again as the levels go up. So that's the basic layout of the game. Um, so obviously writing this in basic um, I don't think would work so I'm, I'm, I'm putting some machine code uh, elements into it. Uh, the only one I've done so far is the laser beam. And of the disintegrator beam and like all my programs I've done it by hand um, and basically what this little routine does is I poke into here a shape and then the routine just copies it across uh, so by changing this element quickly and copying it across um, you can create a sort of like wavy sort of um, laser beam effect put some sound um, little bits in between the changes and what you end up with is this whether it's coming through on the camera whether it's coming through on the camera that it is actually flickering I don't know but but it is and that's basically what I've got up to now um, so the next bit I'm going to do is I'm going to do the routine that will allow the bricks to fall down what I'm going to do with the bricks is have them only operate in the colour realm of the of the Aquarius's graphics display and therefore I won't have to worry about this max limit thing getting um, destroyed on the way down so basically the colours will just go behind the graphic and also the laser beam as well that's the plan right onwards and upwards okay so now I've um, encoded it there on the table I've now got to go back and fill in the gaps for the relative jumps so for example I've got one here um, which is a forward jump which is easy so the chord will be here so I've got to add one two three four five so that's five uh, and then for this one here uh, this is another jump relative but this one's got to go back so I've got so the chord will be here so I've got to go back one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's two, five, six minus twelve, which is two, four, four. And that should hopefully go back to there and keep going. Okay, I think you probably spotted the deliberate mistake there. Um, 
I don't want to put the jump point to there and this jump point should actually go to there which is um, one two three higher so that needs to be three lower and once I did that the cord was working um, so this is what it looks like now so I've added some just random bricks in for now um, so I've still got my original blaster routine disintegrator but now I also have the bricks the colour bricks stacking up as well so you can sort of see what's going on um, so if I can do a disintegrator route um, um, a routine to take care of the decaying bricks so that they disappear and then the gaps that appear that the things drop down then all I've got to do now is write a routine as well um, to remove the bricks from behind the disintegrator and to increase the laser temperature and then have another routine uh, another little bit of code um, adding coolness to the uh, laser um, which will be on a timer but I think that'll be tomorrow okay so one final little thing for the day maybe um, this is a test of how fast the main engine runs uh, obviously it's going to start running slow when I start on the game playing but this is this is the um, the baseline from what I'm working with There you go, pit tip. Okay, so I've completed the game, and this is it running on a real Aquarius as well. Uh, this is how it ended up. Um, this is the cord that basically just sets up the reserved area for the machine cord. Um, this bit here is the actual game. Um, so the game runs from 200 down to 400. Um, this bit here, which is been defined as a subroutine, or not technically would need to be, um, is basically just drawing all the lines on the screen and the and the and the words in the right place and what have you. Um, so you'll see de de decay rate and toxic bricks and things, the max limit sign. That's that's all in this little bit here. Um, this here is the bit where it loads the machine code. And this bit here is the welcome screen, if you like, where it's got the instructions. Um, this little subroutine here is for the for the laser with the sounds statements. So it's basically drawing one graphic, drawing another graphic, drawing the first graphic, drawing the second graphic, and then it does a machine code that actually wipes out the bricks, the coloured bricks behind the behind the laser. Um, and then this cord down here is to do with the end of the levels and this is the um, the definitions for the various levels as you go through various options uh, game over screen and this is where the machine code starts and you'll probably see that there isn't physically a lot of machine code um, which I was quite surprised about um, and then finally down here we've got a little bit of um, the graphics data which you'll see come up on the screen as well so that when it all runs, looks like this. That's loading the machine code. Okay, so there's the bit of graphics. Uh, instructions, press S to start. And then the game is very Dilly Thompson Decathlon in that you've got one button to press. So, oh, I'm doing very well here, am I? Um, so, so basically, you're trying to block, blast the bricks in a sort of semi-strategic way, although it's not so difficult on these um, beginning levels. Um, to prevent the columns building up to such a level that they will get to the max limit and cause a game over. And like I say, on this level, it's it's not it's not too difficult. Um, if you try to use the laser too much, there we go. It strips out, you see, it's gone to danger, and then you let go, and it comes back again, and then you can start blasting. But if you're strategic with how you blast it the early levels are relatively straightforward um, so in terms of machine code um, this bricks dropping routine is probably the biggest one 
what is the biggest one. It, it contains the bricks scrolling down and also the colours coming up as well. Um, there's another piece of machine code which draws and then it erases the, the laser. That bit there. There's a bit of machine code that does the max limit. And then there's a final bit of machine code. I have to write my own um, key press routine because I found that the in keys uh, wasn't reacting fast enough to allow me to play the game. So I've actually got a um, my own little bit of machine code in there, which is doing a um, a system request to get the key position. Uh, I think that key is coming back as 16. Um, and if you allow the bricks to pile up too much, so if another brick lands here and I don't blast it, which I'm not going to, the game then goes game over. So I got to level two and I had 58 bricks left. So another 58 bricks and I would have got to level three. Process to start. It basically just reruns the program. So that's it. A few nights um, work and I've got a working game which is on the website and will be in the link below if you want to have a look at it um, but there you go pit tip